assalamu alaikum and uh, good evening in this video i am going to discuss selection of methodological framework for time series data analysis let me start with the introduction of time series we can define time series as a sequence of observations of the defined variable at a uniform interval over a period of time in successive order when data is arranged according to time that is known as time series data most common series are annual in nature quarterly in nature monthly in nature weekly and daily uh, frequencies and uh, some series may also be uh, hourly frequencies economic time series data often possess unique features such as long term trend high degree of persistence on shocks higher volatility over time and mean ring and sharing co movements with other series therefore researchers must need to understand such features of time series data properly and address them in time series analysis it is important to understand the behavior of the variables their interactions with each other and uh, their integrations over time if major characteristics of time series data are understood and addressed properly a simple regression analysis using such data can also tell us about the pattern of relationships among variables of interest some time series may be stationary like uh, in the upper figure so a time series data is called stationary if it if its values tends to revert to its long run average value and properties of data series do not affect by the change in time only as in the figure below uh, on the contrary the non stationary time series does not tend to return to its long run average value hence its mean variance and covariance also change over time as in this figure most of the macroeconomic variables such as gross domestic product consumption consumer price index etc exhibit a strong upward or downward movement over time with no tendency to revert to the to a fixed mean after this we may understand the components of time series usually there are uh, four components of time series uh, these include long term movement or trend then there are short term movements which include both seasonal variations and uh, cyclical variations and the third type of uh, movements in uh, time series data is random or irregular movements so we may have series with trends and in that observations increase or decrease regularly through time then we have series with seasonality and observations stay high then drop off and pattern repeats from one period to the next then we may have series with cyclical component for example we may have business cycles like recession recovery uh, we may have depression or we may have uh, boom and uh, the last component of time series data is uh, random or irregular variation and that is unpredictable component that uh, gives time series graphs irregular and uh, zigzag appearance this is the diagram for method selection for time series data analysis in time series data analysis our aim may either be forecasting or we may be uh, estimating a dynamic modeling so if our aim is to forecast then we we may either have univariate analysis or multivariate analysis in case of uh, unit variate uh, analysis we may have auto regressive uh, auto regressive conditional heteroscedasticity model that is arch models we may have garz models where garz stand for generalized auto regressive conditional heteroscedasticity or we may have torch models that is threshold auto regressive conditional heteroscedasticity or we may have exponential garz in case of multivariate analysis we may have vector auto regressive models that is var models or we may have structure var models and uh, if our aim is to estimate models we may have dynamic modeling and in case of dynamic modeling we may have cointegration if there is cointegration in the data uh, we may have uh, error correction model for single equation or we may have vector error correction 
for systems of equation and uh, if there is no co-integration then we may have unrestricted war and uh, Granger causality and sometime if uh, uh, some uh, variables are uh, integrated of order 0 and some are integrated of order 1 then we may go for uh, uh, autoregressive distributed lake models ARDL and some economists also say that even if all the variables are integrated of order 1 we may still use a uh, autoregressive distributed lake models but we must be very careful that uh, none of the variables be integrated of order 2. Uh, in this uh, slide uh, you see that uh, the starting point in time series analysis is checking unit root tests. If all variables are stationary at level we may use uh, OLS. If all variables are not stationary at level but stationary at the first difference uh, we may go for a Johansson co-integration test. If there is a Johansson co-integration test we may go for a ECM in case of a single equation or we may go for a vector error correction mechanism in case of systems of equation or a causality test. But if there is no co-integration then we may go for a unrestricted VAR. And if some of the variables are integrated of order 0 and some are integrated of order 1 but none of them is integrated of order 2 then we may use ARDL and in both cases uh, we may use uh, we may check the co-integration. Uh, here is the list of time series uh, methods that one may use. We may have AR that is autoregression models. We may have moving average model and if we combine both of them we may have ARMA that is autoregressive moving average and if there is uh, integration then we may have ARIMA that is autoregressive integrated moving average models and uh, if there is seasonality in ARIMA, we may have seasonal autoregressive integrated moving average and that is uh, abbreviated as SARIMA. And then we may have seasonal autoregressive integrated moving average with the exogenous regressors and that is abbreviated as SARIMAX. Uh, we may also have vector autoregression and that is abbreviated as VAR. And, um, with VAR we may also have co-integration and uh, ECM or VECM. Then we have vector autoregression moving average that is uh, abbreviated as VARMA. And similarly we may have VARMAX that is vector autoregression moving average with exogenous regressors. And in addition to these uh, we may have some other models of forecasting like uh, autoregressive conditional heteroscedasticity, ARCH. We may have GARCH that is generalized autoregressive um, conditional heteroscedasticity or a threshold uh, autoregressive conditional heteroscedasticity model. And uh, there are some other methods too which are used in time series uh, methods. So, ladies and gentlemen, it depends upon the nature of the data, the characteristics and patterns of data, and then you may select appropriate model. Uh, for your time series data analysis. I hope this was uh, quite uh, informative and useful for you. Uh, you may like this and uh, please share this uh, video with your friends, with your colleagues so that they can also get benefit. And uh, I would like you to subscribe to the channel and uh, do not forget to click on the bell icon. Thanks a lot for uh, watching this. Uh